What's up guys, Mainly Hockey Cards here, and today we're on episode 5 of my series in which I see how far I can stretch a penny. If you're new to the series or haven't watched all of the episodes yet, I'll make sure a playlist appears right about now. Last episode, our final transaction left us with $5.26. The first transaction for this episode is selling the Daniel You're Taken Future Watch for a whopping $0.85. Cents and then sold the Polak, the Cup RPA, for $10.94. Not exactly what I wanted, but close enough. And then I sold the Dermot RPA for $9.16. All of these gave me $26.21 to work with. So I bought this Gaetan Haas Acetate Young Guns and a Dreisaitl Clef Bomb Dual Jersey for just $4.70. The problem is that the Dreisaitl Clef Bomb came shoved in a card saver with no protection in a plain white envelope and ended up having two bad creases. The good news is the seller understood and refunded me $3.04. With $24.55, I sold my Hellebuck Seismic Pink for $4.08 and my Kaliev Stature Rookie out of $85 for $11.37. At an even $40 to work with, you may think I went all in on one card. But I didn't, because scouring eBay, I found a true steal. Spending $21.31, I bought a Kari Leitinen lot. Yeah, Kari Leitinen. And I'm sure you're wondering why. Why am I picking up cards of a retired goalie that is not a Hall of Famer? It's because he has a niche market, he's one of the best finished goalies ever, and these cards, frankly, are pretty sick. So the first is a Pinnacle Auto out of 100, which to be honest, I don't really care for. The second one is a 2005-2006 SP Game Used Jersey Auto out of 75. What I can say about these is that the set always sells. Iconic SP Game Used design and year. The next is a 2013-14, the Cup Signature Patches out of 99. Pretty slick card, even with some wear. The next also has a bit of wear, but it's a nicer 2013-14, the Cup Signature Patches, out of 99. Really nice patch on this one. I would have been delighted with just these, but then I got this mint 2014-15 SP Authentic Limited Auto Patch out of 100. A couple have sold for over 30, so I'm pretty sure my copy can pay for the cost of the lot. This leaves me with 1869. I sold a Milan Mahalik rookie for $1.06, which put me to 1975. I then spent $12.92 on this little assortment, a CHL printing plate one of one of someone that'll likely never make the NHL, a high gloss CHL rookie of someone that'll likely never make the NHL, and then an Artem Anisimov Opeachy Platinum Emerald Surge out of 10. As you can imagine, I really only bought these cards for the Anisimov. The others were cheap combined purchases, and this subset I just absolutely love. Really gorgeous cards. At just $6.83 left, I bought a Kiefer Bellows Stature Prages Red Rookie out of 75 for $3.36, which leaves me with $3.47. Overall, I felt that I greatly increased the value of the lot that I now have. Here's a picture I took of everything so far. Pretty cool. I'm pretty content with this. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Enjoy the holiday, everyone.